تتفق الأديان الإبراهيمية والوضعية إلا ما شذ وندر على مجيء مصلح عالمي في آخر الزمان لإصلاح ما فسد من العالم وإنقاذ البشرية غاية الأمر أنه اختلفت كلمتهم حول شخصه وهويته وإن الإيمان بفكرة ذلك المخلص لا يختص بالأديان فحسب بل يشمل المدارس الفكرية والفلسفية غير الدينية أيضا فمثلا يقول المفكر البريطاني الشهير بيرتراند راسل أن العالم في انتظار مصلح يوحده تحت لواء واحد وشعار واحد وقد أعلن خاتم الأنبياء محمد صلى الله عليه وآله عن هوية ذلك المنقذ العالمي بأنه رجل من ولده يسمى بالمهدي He's not only imam for the Muslims, but he's a universal imam. One who was promised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the books before the Qur'an. And Allah says in the Qur'an, وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ In the Psalms of David, وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الذِّكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِثُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ يقول عنه النبي المصطفى صلى الله عليه وآله لو لم يبق من الدنيا إلا يوم لطول الله ذلك اليوم حتى يبعث الله رجلا من أهل بيتي يملأ الأرض قسطا وعدلا كما ملئت ظلما وجورا The Imam will come and fulfill the role and the task of 124,000 prophets and messengers. He will fulfill the task of Prophet Musa, Prophet Isa, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and all of the prophets. When he establishes his government, that will be an end to falsehood, to oppression and injustice, to misery, pain and suffering. narrates from the Prophet, peace be upon him, Al-Mahdiyu minna ahl al-bayt. He is among the children of Fatima. Rasulullah, he himself, when he spoke about Al-Mahdi, he said, Ashbahu al-Nas khalqan wa khuluqan bi. Lughatu al-Mahdi hiya lughatu al-Rahmah, kama kana jadduhu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. follows the sunnah of his grandfathers who spread the religion of Islam with peace, with logic, with love. These are some of the characteristics of the Imam of the age. May our souls be sacrificed for his sake, whom all the nations of the world and people from all faiths and races are impatiently waiting for at all times. The promised Mahdi, Sahib al-Zaman, the Lord of the Age, was born on the 15th of the month of Shaban in the year 255 after Hijira, in the town of Samarra. His father, the 11th Shia Imam, was Hazrat Imam Hassan al-Askari, peace be upon him, and his mother was the great lady Narjis. For various reasons, the 12th Imam did not appear publicly from the first day of his life. Shia believed that in 260 after Hijira, that is 873 AD, and after the death of his father Al-Askari, Imam Al-Mahdi was hidden by Allah's order. He disappeared from sight because of the danger that was threatening his life and his whereabouts were disclosed only to a select few. During the minor occultation, Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, himself has appointed four special deputies from among the righteous Shia, so that they might act as a medium between the Imam, peace be upon him, and the Shia. Uthman ibn Sa'id, 
Muhammad ibn Uthman, Hussein ibn Ruh al Nubakhti, and Ali ibn Muhammad al Samari. After the death of the fourth deputy, al Samari, the special deputation of Imam al Zaman, peace be upon him, terminated. There was no longer any direct communication between people and the Imam, and he entered the period of the major occultation, which continues until today. During the major occultation, people have been ordered to follow the true teachings of the Quran and Ahl al-Bayt, peace be upon them, through the pious and religious scholars and the just jurists, fuqaha, those excelling in knowledge of the Sharia and the narration of Hadith, who are specialized in the matters of the religion. There are certain conditions that must be met before Imam al-Mahdi reappears, and before that he will not reappear, and those conditions are dependent on us human beings. One of those conditions is the presence of supporters. If the Imam finds 313 supporters, he will appear. It's been now more than 1170 years since Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, went into the major occultation. Since then, the Shia have been counting the minutes, the hours, the days, and the years in awaiting for the appearance of that universal Imam who will fill the earth with justice and equity, just like it had been filled with injustice and tyranny.